Joining us from London this morning, Katie Nichol of Britain's Mail on Sunday, also the author of William and Harry. Katie, good morning. Morning, Maggie. I understand that you have some new pictures of Fergie here in New York. Yesterday, we asked a close friend of hers about reports that she might move here, and he said that he wouldn't be surprised if she did. What are you hearing? Uh, I agree with your source. Um, as you know, the Duchess does have a small bolt hole in New York. Um, I think that she has always felt far more welcomed on the other side of the pond, actually. She, she finds here in Britain that she's so easily criticised. Of course, this sting will have done absolutely nothing to help relations between the Duchess and the British press. I expect that for her to keep a low profile, she will probably stay in the States. She's, she's gone on record saying that she prefers it over there. And this has done certainly nothing to, to help relations with the royal family. We saw Prince Andrew out publicly for the first time yesterday and he said nothing. What have you heard about how he is reacting or, or about the future of their relationship? Well, I, I can tell you that Prince Andrew will not be saying anything publicly. They have made the statement, Buckingham Palace behind me have issued a statement saying that there will be no further comment. They maintain the line that Andrew is whiter than white and has had no involvement in this sting whatsoever. Behind the scenes, I'm hearing that Andrew and the Duchess have spoken. Uh, there was a very, very tearful phone conversation only the other night. Sarah was hugely apologetic and uh, begged forgiveness from Andrew. And he, he said that he forgave her. I think he realizes that she was in a very desperate situation and these were actions of a very desperate woman. But ultimately, she is the mother of their, of their two daughters. Their key concerns, I think, for both of them are how this is impacting on the princesses, Beatrice and Eugenie, uh, and to keep that relationship, that tight relationship that they have as close as possible. Sarah needs support now, not to be alienated by the family. We've seen, we're seeing some, some old video of the girls when they were babies and they were a little bit older. But here stateside, Katie, people don't know a lot about them. How old are they now and, and, and how is this affecting them? Well, well, it is affecting them. Um, they're, they're 20 and 18, respectively. Um, Beatrice is uh, halfway through a degree at Goldsmiths College, um, studying history of art. Eugenie is um, up in Newcastle in the north of England, also studying for a degree. Um, I'm told that this is affecting them quite badly. I spoke to some friends of Eugenie's up in Newcastle last night who said she's finding it really, really tough. And I believe that they may be getting some special dispensation treatment. They've got exams coming up. And I think you'll find that there will be a degree of leniency towards them because, as you can imagine, yeah. trying to get their heads down and study on this when there's this huge storm must be incredibly unsettling and very difficult for them. Yeah, they deserve that. Katie Nichol, as always, thank you so much, Katie. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.